and you see that in 1990, when I taught a traditional course, you know, I basically held a sermon regurgitating the textbook in front of the students. Um, this is the pretest. This is how they come in. Uh, and there are some students who clearly already do quite well in their physics. In fact, most of my students had, have had AP physics in uh, high school advanced placement. Some students do very poorly. They do not much better than a monkey would do by just randomly pressing keys for each uh, question. Hestonus identifies 22 as the cutoff for understanding Newtonian mechanics. So you see that some students already understand Newtonian mechanics before coming to my class, but two-thirds have absolutely no clue of Newtonian mechanics. Now after teaching for a full semester, this is the improvement. A little gain, but nowhere near what one would like to have. I mean, you, you, if you see the test, you want your students to be in the last two or three bins. And look, there are still students who, you know, score barely better than you would do by just randomly answering choices. And still about half the class lies below 22. This was when I taught a completely traditional course with my high ratings and students doing well on problems. In 1991 is when I first implemented peer instruction. Oh, let me first show you. Here you can see what the difference is between the two distributions. So we've moved the white to the gray. Now let's look at a more interactive lecture. Pretest every year it's the same. It's amazing. It's been the most reproducible data that I've ever taken, uh, including those in my, in my laboratory. I mean, the noise varies a little bit from year to year, but the mean and, and the shape of the distribution remains remarkably <coughs> constant. Now, what I'm going to show to you is what I achieved in 1991 when I implemented it the first time. Every year since, I've been able to improve this result a little bit. First a lot, and then less and less. It's sort of asymptotically evening out, because I've eliminated those questions that were either too hard or too easy, where there's less gain. So I've tailored my questions better to my audience. And this first year that I did it, this was the post-test, a remarkable uh, improvement, as you see. There are still some students who score below 22 and have no clue of Newtonian mechanics, but it's far fewer uh, than before. If we want to look at the difference in distributions here, you can see it.